Hey guys, Gabe with Gaming here, and this is Spesh. Basically, there's this new software on um, Steam. It's called Game Maker Studio. You can make games with it, and everybody thinks it's really cool. So I'm going to show you a little simple, a really, really bare bones, simple tutorial about how this works. And so basically, you need to create a sprite first. Right click, create a sprite, and sprites are basically the graphics of a um, of a object. So we're going to name this test these and we're going to be editing this sprite oh wait oops edit this sprite and click create a new sprite and you're going to want um 32 by 32 <coughs> oh excuse me and you're going to want image zero and so you zoom in a little bit by scrolling mouse wheel and i'm just going to give this a little bit of color might as well make it a little turquoise click check check and OK. So basically this is our first graphics. It's really simple. It's just a square turquoise. It's called test please. And so now next we need to make it an object. So you see the screen. Create an object. Click it. And this is what's going to show up. And so basically we're going to choose the sprite that we're going to use to give it commands. Test please. And let's click add events go to the keyboard, press left. So basically, when something pressed left, we're going to use this command. Basically, jump to position. And we're going to do negative 3x. So basically, what this means is that when you press the left key, it's going the object, test please, is going to go 3 to the left, because it's negative 3. And now, let's add another command. Keyboard, right. And let's also set it to move to a position. This one is going to go 3, because 3 and the X is going to the right. And also make sure, I accidentally forgot to do this, right click this, edit values, make sure it's relative, because then it makes it relative to everything else, makes it a little bit easier. Okay, so now that you have your sprite, now you have its object, it's got a few commands, now you're going to want to go to rooms, create a new room, and basically, this is where your game's gonna play. So, drag this, drag this here, and um, we're gonna select object, and we're gonna place it, and so now it's in. And let's, let's check. Now let's try out the game. So, you know, popping up now, loading down here, and here we are. So see, move left, move right. That's basically a very simple game that we have just created in about, you know, three minutes, like ten seconds. It's pretty good. <coughs> so, excuse me. It's pretty good. You can move back and forth. Now you can do a lot more complex things. You can do like 3D games, 